Now that you know exactly how much car you can afford, the fun begins. I want you to be driving something that you're happy with, that you're not embarrassed to come to a stop at the red light for, but I also want you to be driving something that's responsible and gonna put you ahead in life. Our goal is wealth building. We don't wanna be spending all of the money that comes in. Start by looking at cars that are at least $2,000 less than the amount of money that you qualified to borrow. So if you qualified to borrow $20,000 and you have a $2,000 down payment, that means that you're borrowing $18,000. I want you to be looking at cars that are $16,000. Why, you ask? Because there is wiggle room. I don't want you to borrow at the very, very top of your budget because we want you to create wiggle room to breathe. If something goes wrong with the car, you have money to spend on the repairs. You just have extra money in general. Who doesn't want extra money floating around? If you chose not to talk to a person at your credit union prior to going to the dealership, it'll also be helpful that you're finding cars that are beneath your means because you'll be more likely to get approved by banks versus if you're getting something that's at the tippy top of your budget. I would say if you are a person that has a higher credit score or a higher down payment, you can look at cars that are slightly above your price range between one to two thousand dollars because you can most likely negotiate it down underneath your price range. When you're looking for cars, it's super easy to shop for new cars. Just do your research, see the ratings, miles per gallon, et cetera, et cetera. With used cars, it's a little bit different. You wanna make sure that you're looking at cars that hold their value, that have a high MPG, and you're looking at cars that don't cost a fortune to get serviced. Cars that don't need a special kind of oil, cars that you can source the parts needed for it locally. Do your research. I'm not the expert in this, can't tell you what to do I can't tell you what to drive just make sure that you do a lot of research and you're making informed decisions once you've chosen the car that you feel like you like go into your insurance and do a quote do a quote on that exact car the mileage on it all of the features and find out how much your car insurance will cost for that particular car car insurance varies greatly depending on what kind of car it is that you get so if you find a car that you like and that you feel like the payments will be reasonable but your car insurance is going to be crazy then maybe you should look into getting a different car so just get a couple of different car options three to four that you like and run quotes on all four of those and whichever one has the best rate for car insurance that's the one that you should go with this is our third video in the car buying series so to make sure that you get all of the information that you need make sure that you click on the next video in the description box below and if there's any videos that you missed be sure to click on those to get caught up.